كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر أولو الألباب and welcome back. Today, inshallah, we're going to learn ayah number 8, chapter number 7, Surah Al-A'raf. A segment of this ayah deals with the fate of those whose good deeds will be heavy in the scale and accordingly will be saved. May the Almighty Allah make us among them. So the ayah begins with, وَالْوَزْنُ يَوْمَ إِذِنِ الْحَقِّ فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ the weighing on the day, the weighing of the good deeds and the bad deeds on the day will be the true weighing. So those whose good deeds will be heavy in the scale, such are the successful ones. May Allah make us among them. Those whose scales are heavy will prosper, will be saved, will receive salvation. In fact, there are many references in the Quran talking about the importance of doing good deeds but also the importance of doing good deeds while doing them out of sincerity and while believing in the oneness of Allah the Almighty. Because the good deeds are not good deeds unless if the person is doing them with sincerity and is doing them anticipating the reward from Allah the Almighty. In the hadith, Allah says, Ana aghna shirk. Allah is the richest. If any person done anything, while trying to please Allah and to please others with Allah, تَرَكْتُهُ وَشَرْكَهُ Allah the Almighty says, I will abandon him and what he associated with him. I'm not going to take anything of his deed. You try to please people, collect your word from them. So what will be actually um, considered a good deed is a deed which is done out of faith and out of sincerity and anticipating the word from Allah the Almighty. Not just simply because it is a good act in the sight of people. You find that clearly explained in Surah Al-Kahf, uh, chapter number 18, ayah uh, number 103. Allah the Almighty says, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Shall we not inform you about the greatest losers in respect of deeds? الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ صُنْعًا It will be those whose deeds were gone astray. And they used to think that we're doing good. We're doing good deeds. But it was not done for the sake of Allah. It will be all abandoned. And it will be all rejected. May Allah protect us against that. So in ayah number 105 of Surah Al-Kahf, chapter number 18, Allah the Almighty said, فَلَا نُقِيمُ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَزْنَا On that day, they will not have any weight whatsoever. Their works are in vain and we shall attach no weight to them on the day of judgment. On the other hand, simple acts could weigh a lot in the scale of the good deeds on the day of judgment. In the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, كَلِمَتَانِ خَفِيفَتَانِ عَلَى اللِّسَانِ يَتْثَقِيلَتَانِ فِي الْمِيزَانِ There are a couple words which are very easy to say, light to repeat, yet they're very heavy in the scale of the good deeds. What are the words? He said also they are Habibatani ila rahman They are very loved by the most beneficent. To say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim. Try it. Is it difficult? Is it hard to say, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim? It is very easy 
it is very beautiful. It is very light as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, yet in the scale of the good deeds, they weigh a lot because Allah loves them so much. So there are simple deeds. If you do, they weigh a lot in the scale of the good deeds. And there are a lot of good deeds which will be dismissed, discarded, and they will not be looked at because the person was lacking sincerity or was even lacking faith to begin with. The ayah of Surah Al-Anbiya, ayah number 47, Allah the Ummati says, وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ الْقِسْطَ لِيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ the scales which Allah the Almighty is going to lay down and use on the Day of Judgment to weigh our good deeds and bad deeds are the most perfect, are the truth presenting the ultimate justice. No one will be wrong and art. لا تظلم نفس شيئا There is a very interesting hadith uh, which is, it's a sound hadith collected by Imam Muslim in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said on the day of judgment Allah will bring one of his servants who is a Muslim but he has done a lot of bad deeds and he will spread the records of his bad deeds there are many 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 bad deeds so Allah the Almighty Yud Ni will bring him near to him and will interview him interview him and confront him do you claim that my angels who recorded that have wronged you Maybe any of those deeds that you've not done, you will say, no, they have not. Do you deny doing any of those bad deeds? No, I do not deny any of them. Okay. And then he will confront him and the servant will admit all of that. So Allah the Almighty will say, well, I have concealed those bad deeds and the sins for you in the dunya and today I dismiss them as well. And I forgive all your sins. In another hadith, Allah the Almighty will bring one of his servants who've done a lot of bad deeds that his good deeds weigh nothing in the scale on the Day of Judgment. And he will order the angels to put a bitaqa, a card, in the scale of the good deeds, in the part of the good deeds. And once it is put, it will outweigh all the bad deeds. This card has one statement. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. That explains the importance, the significance, and the greatness, and the preciousness of the saying of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. But also, brothers and sisters, we got to remain vigilant and understand that we have to compete with the good doers and with even ourselves in order to maintain a decent balance of good deeds. And we should always seek forgiveness upon committing sins. And even if we don't remember committing sins, so that the forgiveness will expiate our bad deeds, they will not show on the Day of Judgment by increasing saying, Allahumma inna ka'afoon tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna. Oh Allah, you are the one who pardons and you love to pardon, so pardon us and forgive us our sins. There are two beautiful surahs. One is Surah al zarzala and one is Surah Al-Qari'ah. And both refer to the Day of Judgment. In Surah al zarzala Allah the Almighty says, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى Whosoever does even an atom weight of good shall see it. And whosoever does even an atom weight of evil shall see it. And in Surah Al-Qari'ah, Allah the Almighty says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةً رَضِيَةً Those whose scales of good deeds will be very heavy, they will be saved and they will be in a prison life, they will enter paradise. وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةً As for him whose good deeds will be light and will be outweighed with the bad deeds, then his abode will be hellfire. May Allah protect us against that. May Allah increase the balance of our good deeds and forgive us all our sins. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.